Hello, welcome to Tech Easy. Good morning to everyone. Today in this video, we'll see how you can put WinRAR files on desktop. So currently, I just installed WinRAR application. I have just downloaded and installed on my computer. So for example, if I want to uh, zip this folder or just create, compress this folder to .rar, I'll just right click on this and I will use this option WinRare. I'll use this option add to archive. But what if you want the Windows WinRare files on the desktop means the location when I do this, the location should be here. Uh, so actually we need to set the path in the options of WinRare by default. When you do this option like uh, when you compress by default here, it will create a folder right at here in this path only. So when I click on OK, where is this? Yeah. See, realme.rare. But what if you want to set a default path to desktop or any other location? We need to set in the settings. First of all, on the search, this search as WinRare. So this will open WinRare application on your computer. So double tap on it. So this will actually open the software. So here we will find some settings. OK, I'll close this under the options. Click on the options. See under options, there is an option called settings. You need to tap on the settings and the third option see here. There is something like paths here. So see default folder for archives. So WinRare archives will defaultly save to this path. So I don't want this path. Instead, what I'll do is I'll just give it to desktop. Where is this? Yeah, desktop. So from now on, this folder, this selected path is the default path for every archive file or the every compressed file through this WinRare. I'll just quickly test it. OK, I'll click on it and I'll click on OK. And now I'll right click on this again. Now using this WinRare, I'll compress this file. OK, I'll just compress this file add to archive. OK. See, I'll click on OK. I'll just minimize this and I'll check on my desktop. See here, this is how you can keep or put WinRare files on your desktop. I hope you like this tutorial. If you feel this is helpful for you, please do hit a like. That would be really help me. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.